kind of nervous. And I feel like once you start scraping and smearing that you just got to go. Like you can't really back up into it. Ooh, that's close. We're parked next to a farm right now. <laughs> Old McDonald. Interesting. I hope you remember where we parked the truck. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. So what's the plans for the day? Uh, we are going to do another Boondockers Welcome location. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm actually really excited. We can't run a ton. We had to make coffee via French press this morning because we couldn't use the Keurig, but. Yeah, I didn't want to push the, I didn't even feel like getting the Keurig out. And I like French press coffee, so it's a win-win. And guess what? There's no snow on the ground. Exhibit A over here, no snow whatsoever. So Pennsylvania is in the rear view mirror and Florida is in the windshield. Look at those views, buddy. Only $5 a night. There's a property line there right in the middle. And we actually just followed this up into our spot here. So not too shabby. We got pulled in and everything. We had a little bit of a problem with the auto level. We're going to go address that here in just a minute. And we're going to show you if you do run to this air code with the auto level, what you can do. And then if you can't get it and it still malfunctions, we got another tip for you. Just shut it off, come inside and throw on these extra comfy robes that we have here. What'd you buy? Was this Christmas gift? It was like a late Christmas gift. It was like a late Christmas gift. And let me say, it's just, it's super comfy. Wow, beautiful day out. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. Another day getting ready to get back out on the road. Always, always, always check the tire pressures before you go. A big thing is to know the colder it is, the lower your tire pressure will be. The hotter it is, the more expansion there will be or the more air pressure in your tire. So, and if you will notice as well, staying up on closing your pass-through storage is also key. I did not shut that last night when we got here. I was so excited. I just, I couldn't help myself. It's amazing how quickly you get distracted out on the road. Things are exciting. Everything's new. You're seeing new places, you're meeting new people, and you're just like, squirrel. Let's go ahead and I'll do the pull test. So we're just gonna retract this just enough. Because once the weight is off beach jacks, your truck is, has the weight. That's yeah. It. You gotta be careful. That should be about good right there. Okay. If you guys don't know what we're doing, we're doing a pull test to make sure that the actual fifth wheel pin is connected to the hitch if it's not and you retract all the jacks and you pull away that pin becomes dislodged and the whole trailer would fall right on your truck so if you need some more information on how to properly hook up a fifth wheel we'll throw a link up above it'll walk you through it step by step okay good now i don't know if you just hit retract all i think you gotta manually retract them uh oh what happened with the right rear i don't know did you, is the right rear completely retracted? Yeah, they're all retracted. Like the back ones are. So what happens if you get an error code on the Lipper component system, what it's saying is hold retract and it will retract all of them. It's gonna throw an error code when you try to retract all because in the back they're already retracted. It's like, whoa, hold on a second. You already retracted it. I can't retract it. It's freaking out. So what you do, bring all the jacks manually down just a smidge, just enough to say, okay, they all need to be retracted. Hold the retract button and then they'll all retract. If not, if you try to do some of the work for the system, the system's like, no, I'm done. Yeah, I'm not important enough and I'm out of here. I'm so we have to conquer. So I'm thinking about doing like a, a wide sweep here and at an angle. Oh, wow. I'm glad I always do a walk around as well when you're done hooking up most important step because you get certain things on your mind you get sidetracked with like trying to figure out where your next destination is and stuff and you don't even realize that sometimes you drop pieces of stuff that would just be really expensive replacement so this is 
a piece to the Viera I was talking about, so I'm glad I found that. Always do a walk around. Uh, looks good. Uh, let me see here. Ooh, that's close. You are good. It's good. You got this. Nice job. Hey, thanks for the help. Yeah. Hop on in. I'll take you to the next spot. Well, open the door. We got to make our first stop. We got three minutes because Renee up here spilled her coffee all over the seat. So, you feeling okay there? My pants, we made it so far. We made it so far. I'm going to change my pants. All right, you go do that. I'll take care of this. So we made it to the French Broad River and you can always tell, always can tell yeah. when he made it to a raft guide campground. Oh yeah. Take a look around. What do you see? Here's the funny part. I don't think that's Kayla's van. I think that's just like another That's van. definitely Kayla's van. That could be any it raft says, guide's van. That could be any raft guide's van. Hi. Come here. <laughs> oh God. Oh, wow. He's down. One down. This is river. This is river. River named after the river. French Broad and let's just say we're super pumped to take you guys along for this adventure. Now if you don't know where we are, we're just outside of Asheville about 40, 30 minutes? 45 minutes north of Asheville. Not we are in a we are near an area called Hot Springs. So what brought us here is that my sister is a whitewater raft guide. Yeah. And we've been whitewater rafting with her like so many times. We go so much that we like invested in our own gear. Totally. Um, it's just like a fun day on the river. We're gonna get a little splashy out here, guys. So prepare for that. We got some class fours coming up, which should be really fun. Yeah. and tries to kill us, but we are still alive. Wait, 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 wait. Can we get the sunglasses off real quick? We want to do that side-by-side -side comparison oh, real quick. Dear. What better place than on the middle of the river? Ooh. Older sister do here. Do they look alike? <laughs> Throw it in the comments 18 below. 18 months. 18 months apart. Let's actually, let's just kick back and do some white water rafting. Yeah, ready? let's kick I'm it, ready. guys. Yeah. Let's do it, go. you why I'm stressed out. Tell us. Uh, Don't be stressed. It's raining. Well, it is a little gloomy day, but it's still a really pretty town. The cool thing is I feel like the town kind of lights it up. So whether it's sun, 
sunshine or rain. Yeah, the art it does. and like the just the people. Yeah, there's a lot of cool things to see around but here. But the weather was like really nice the past two days, and yeah. it just kind of teased me a little bit. It teased you, yeah, a little bit, yeah, for yeah. sure. I don't know, babe. What do you think? Do you think we could fit in there with the trailer? Ooh, Ooh. tight squeeze. Would your RV fit there? Let me know. Maybe if we got like a a really quick running start. Like just really hammered into it. You're just gonna take off a couple air conditioners. Nothing major. Nothing crazy. Minor cosmetic damage, honestly. We go, am I going the wrong way? I feel like we stick out like a sore thumb. A lifted truck. Yeah, it's not really a city truck. What's happening right now? I'm trying to go to Sierra Nevada Brewery and it said, do right battery. I'm like, not quite. I don't need some batteries. I need some beer. <laughs> so if anyone's trying to buy a truck, do you think they should get the GPS feature or just? Well, it just comes standard with it, but you know how they always market it like, oh, hands free. Come on, I step think, it up here, Denali. I don't think this GPS has ever understood what you were saying. No, I think I, it's actually one of like the most unused things I use in this truck. So, yes. yes. Okay, yeah, whatever. Say a command or say help. Directions to Sierra Nevada Brewery. Sorry, what type of destination? Uh, let's do place of interest. Sierra Nevada Brewery. Not understood. <laughs> Brewery. Glory. Is that correct? What is glory? Command not understood. 